Hi, this is Rajendran here from Market Calls, and in this uh, video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the basics of Rami Broker. We will be starting right from the scratch and uh, we'll be extending to the concepts. So, first, we'll start with Rami Broker installation. So, to do the installation, uh, you have to go to amibroker.com. So, the current version is 5.9, and Rami Broker is an European company. So, to download Rami Broker, go to the download section, and the free trial, pro Rami Broker provides a free trial version. Uh, apart from that, if you want to get a license, you can choose a lot of uh, variants, uh, standard, professional, and ultimate. Uh, just go go through the pricings. So, just going to the download section. Here you can see the Ami Broker 5.9 32 bit and uh, Ami Broker uh, 5.9 64 bit. So, in this tutorial, I'm just downloading this 32 bit version. Click over the download. So in the meantime, uh, we'll uh, go through the features in Ami Broker. So Ami Broker is generally and uh, uh, suitable for uh, systematic traders, and then those who want to experiment technical analysis, it's an awesome tool, and uh, it, uh, it supports uh, uh, backtesting like an uh, individual backtest, portfolio backtest, scanning, explorations. Anyways, we'll be going through the, all those. Uh, uh, methodologies and concepts in uh, ME Broker and uh, one another thing is it supports a lot of charting tools a lot of charting tools like I mean uh, you, you can create your own custom indicators you can have the um, classical technical analysis indicators you can have a real-time charts by default ME Broker doesn't provide real-time data for any of the market so you have to arrange your own data feeds uh, like uh, global data feeds or neo trade analytics feeds for uh, Indian markets and it supports uh, uh, for global markets you can get the data feed from uh, eSignal and a lot of other providers are there just go and explore and uh, uh, you can basically get a lot of real time data vendors for ME Broker right so ME Broker got downloaded here I'm just going to install it just open it Just giving it next accept the agreement next so i'm just giving a name i already have a one more ami broker version install my machine so i'm just giving in a, a new next i just want to install the full installation next install so once the installation is done i'm just launching my ami broker so it contains an, uh, a default uh, US market uh, database. It's a sample UOD database. However, if you want to have your own uh, UOD database, there are two ways you can configure it. One is you can import the, any of the CSV files into AMI Broker, or another other thing is you have to have a real-time database subscription uh, for AMI Broker. So currently, so I'm just closing this interpretation box, notepad box. By default, we are not going to use it. And uh, here is the symbol section here. So you can find an, a lot of US symbols here. For example, you want to search out an IBM. You just simply type IBM. You will be able to see the IBM box here. I'm selecting it, right? And uh, like Chrome tabs, this is a, a tab-based uh, uh, thing to view multiple charts. So I'm clicking over the tab clicking over the new blank chart so this opens a very blank charts it doesn't have any indicator or anything else so to put your own indicators or the candlesticks you have to go to the chart section right down here I'm clicking over the charts so basic charts the basic charts contain the price which is nothing but the uh, candlesticks plain candlesticks you have to drag and drop to the screen blank screen done so now you got the plain candlesticks so how can I plot a uh, moving average over there? So Ami Broker has the averages section here. So these are the uh, default indicators which you can use in uh, Ami Broker. Apart from that, if you want to have your own indicator, you have to be familiar with a uh, programming language called AFL. AFL is nothing but an Ami Broker formula language to create and build your own uh, mathematical models. Not only building, you can test it out uh, how the uh, system performs uh, in the using the past historical data right and uh, 
now uh, we want to plot an for example you want to plot an ema 25 let's say so anything over the candlestick if you want to plot you have to simply drag and drop over the candlestick so i'm just dragging and drop to the candlestick so by default it says some uh, 2015 so you can control the values from here right and you can see instantly the col i mean uh, the colors or the parameters are reflecting over there other way is you just double click over the right now you can see a slider here you can vary it otherwise if you are comfortable with the typing you just type 25 over here it's done so how about plotting an uh, uh, underlying indicator like an macd or an atr so all those classical technical indicators you can find it over this section indicators you can find the, all the rsa macd stochastics over here right now what i'm doing i'm just uh, plotting an rsa here to plot an rsa it's an underlying indicator means we are going to plot below the uh, candlestick right click over the rsi and do an insert and set what are the values you want right how about a stochastics over here so by default an ami broker the stochastics is made up of two components percentage d and percentage k so first you have to plot an uh, percentage d right so i'll make it as an uh, red color and percentage k it is an overlying indicator over the stochastic percentage d so what i am doing percentage k anything over, overlying has to be drag and drop okay done so anything uh, if you want to plot an underlying it should be an uh, right click and an insert so likewise it has couple of sections uh, bands where you can find the uh, band with, uh, band indicators like bollinger bands keltner bands and percentage based bands and basic charts by default contain some of the basic in uh, indicators like uh, ichimoku or wall to plot a volume or essential components like open high low close volume open interest those kind of section or an, uh, if you want to make a spread chart you can use this basic sections and uh, indicators generally and uh, technical analysis indicators and exploration and other stuff we will definitely go in the next level of uh, tutorials right apart from that so if i write if i do a right click over the charts and go to an edit formula you can see a uh, bunch of afl codes down here so if you're familiar with the afl codes you can create on your own uh, otherwise i mean uh, you can uh, you can uh, use uh, any uh, any of the afl code indicators most of the people uh, uh, you can go to the websites like uh, Wise Stock Trader or Amibook has their own library and Market Calls has their own library where you can find tons of open source resources, open source uh, models for custom indicators, custom trading systems. A lot of things are, uh, you can get it at, at, at simply at free of cost, I mean, right? So, um, so this is all about uh, the AFL editor and uh, the, AFL, the new AFL editor is really cool uh, compared to the uh, older versions like 5.3 or 5.4. So it's always recommended to use the latest version of Ami Broker, right? And uh, there are other uh, other uh, functionalities like uh, scanning or uh, explorations. You can access those functions by uh, clicking over the plus button. You can go to the new analysis and you can do a uh, scan or explore or backtest and optimize. So in the subsequent articles, we'll be talking more about these features and uh, as of now, I'm not touching it in this uh, tutorial. So this tutorial is all about the basics, right? Uh, so to change the time frame, so this is an uh, UOD database, so I can access a minimum of uh, database interval of uh, uh, daily charts. So if you are having a real time database subscription, probably able to have a uh, minimum of uh, ranging from tick level charts to one minute charts. So to change the time frame, two ways you can do it. You can change over here, daily or an uh, uh, weekly. The other way to make it out is right click, go to an uh, daily or weekly or monthly. So if you have an uh, intra database here, you can have access to all the indicators, right? So, so hope uh, you got the basics of Hami Broker right. So in the next tutorial, we go a little advanced and uh, we'll start thinking more in uh, Hami Broker. And uh, till then, stay tuned. Thank you.